Hooked on Ice Fishing What lies beneath this hole carved through 8 to 12 inches of ice? Can it be the elusive lake trout found throughout North America? Many fishermen have ventured out with the goal of landing one of these fine trophy fish. What's not to like about this fish? Lake trout can be fished at any hour of the day or night and can be caught at various sizes and weights. These fish are prized game fish by sport and recreational fishermen. The elusive lake trout is a slow growing fish that lurks at the bottom depths of several Colorado lakes. Most lake trout thrive in waters containing adequate forage and can range from 15 to 30 pounds. Sometimes referred to as Mackinaws, they are typically grayish green to chrome silver with a series of oval spots along their sides and backs. Fighting these fish at depths of 45 to 100 feet is a meticulous process. These fish aggressively attack presented baits and can resist capture for several minutes adding to the allure of stalking these fish. So the question begs to be answered. How does one go about catching these trophy fish? What tools will the fishermen need to purchase before venturing out to a frozen lake? First and foremost, the angler will need a fishing license purchased at the local sporting goods store. While at the sporting goods store, pick up a hand auger for $40. You can't catch a fish through ice unless you drill a hole. These augers drill a hole that's 8 inches in diameter. Sidebar, never venture out onto ice unless the ice is, at the very minimum, 4 inches thick. In addition, purchase an ice fishing rod with some tube jigs. An ice fishing rod is about one-fourth the size of a standard fishing rod. These are specifically made to allow for optimal jigging. Tube jigs are the primary weapon for catching the lakers. Use white salt impregnated tube jigs with a weighted hook inserted on the inside. These jigs act as natural bait for the fish when dropped to the bottom depths of the lake. Finally, you'll need sucker meat. What is sucker meat? Sucker meat is a sucker fish or bottom feeder fish cut into small chunks. These chunks will be attached to the hook as bait. Cut the suckers into chunks prior to venturing out on the ice. It is much easier. Now that you have all the proper gear, make sure you load it up into your car and head out to one of the many lakes that stock lake trout. A favorite spot in Colorado is Lake Granby or Green Mountain Reservoir outside of Silverthorne. Lake Granby offers trophy sized fish yearly. When arriving at an ice-covered lake, take precautions. Drill some holes close to the shore before venturing out on the ice. The ice should be at least four or more inches to safely walk on. Once determined you have safe ice, cautiously move your gear out onto the frozen lake. A handy but costly device for locating the lake trout is an electronic fish finder. These range from $75 to $500 but are well worth the money. Use the fish finder to locate the proper depth. Typically, lake trout are found on flat surfaces in 45 to 100 feet of water. Location, location, location is highly important when searching for lake trout. Since 95% of a lake is absent of fish, knowing the habits of lake trout will increase your success. Again, drill random holes until 45 to 100 feet of water is located. Now it's time to set up the fishing rod and start having fun. Attach a white tube jig to the end of the fishing line. Make sure you added the weighted hook on the inside of the tube jig first. Slap a small piece of sucker meat on the hook and prepare to drop the line through the hole. Drop the tube jig with sucker meat through the drilled hole. Slowly drop the line, trying to keep the line taut or straight. Sometimes the line will stop moving before it reaches the bottom of the lake. If this happens, yank back hard and set the hook. Most likely, a fish grabbed the jig before it reached the bottom. When the tube jig reaches the bottom of the lake, stop and set the rod. In other words, prevent more line from being released. Reel in until the line is straight or the tube jig is slightly off the bottom of the lake. 
then be prepared. With the tube worm slightly above the bottom of the lake, move the rod up and down quickly, causing the tube worm to bounce around underwater. This acts like natural bait for the fish. If there is the slightest resistance, pull back and set the hook, you've caught a fish. Once you have a fish on the line, keep the rod high in the air at an angle. Don't allow any slack in the line, otherwise the fish will release the tube jig and become detached from the hook. Battle the fish up to the surface and through the hole, making sure not to cut the line on the edge of the hole. Success! You just caught your first lake trout or Mackinac through the ice. Be careful with the fish and gently remove the hook. Take a picture and release the fish back into the hole. Make sure to release the fish in a timely manner. The real secret to catching more fish is knowledge. The informed fishermen, armed with knowledge, will increase production. Use the simple techniques explored and have fun catching the elusive lake trout in the many Colorado lakes. Have fun!